Glasgow Rowing Club is a thriving club. It's been running for a number of years and from the founding members to the members that we currently have and new members that come along. When I started rowing, it was very friendly. That was the main thing. Uh, but also, I just, I just came and I just saw how beautiful it was rowing here. It's a lovely busy club um, and uh, we've got a strong recreational side, social, social rowers as well as the athletes. It can be really easy in rowing to get really focused on medals and racing and training and that is all very important but um, much more important for us is making sure that everyone feels like they've had a good time, they've gone away with a good new skill, that they feel like part of the club and um, really feel like they're contributing to what's happening. And I think it's a really nice balance to have in our club, um, that, that kind of wider, sort of strong social element and, and younger people who are um, maybe thinking about medals and thinking about racing. Away from the sport for a little bit for the last year or so, coming back down to see Glasgow Rowing Club, it's a really healthy mix of new people who um, I've never met before but are you know, really helping shape this club, but also the, the old faces who still have so much experience to give, so that's what's really um, positive about this club, I think. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I, I like it, I like it. Recently, we're very pleased that we've achieved Clubmark accreditation. Um, there was a lot of work done in advance. There was a lot of work done over a period of time for that. We just put on the real push uh, to complete that. We had really good external support recently, actually, from Glasgow Life in particular and uh, Andrew Scottish Rowing. Uh, we had good connections through the summer uh, when we did Glasgow 2018 and we've had uh, funding help which is, uh, which is amazing for us uh, from uh, Glasgow Sport, Sports Council for Glasgow, Sports Scotland and even from Tanux. I think there has been a real culture change for us. We have had quite a lot of crews racing and training at quite a high level in the past and I think it's fair to say in that period that a lot of our resources as a club were very focused on those training and racing crews. I think what there has been is a bit of a recognition that what really makes the club strong are the wider social members um, and that it's just as important to make sure that they have the resources and things they need. So for instance, purchasing more beginner boats, um, making sure that everyone has access to boats um, that are going to help them improve. Um, making sure that the coaching resource is evenly spread between people who are at the start of rowing and people who maybe want to take things a bit further. I think what I really like about Glasgow Rowing Club is the fact that they have a really effective whole club ethos um, and that it's very clear that whether you are a recreational rower or a performance rower or anywhere in between um, that you are still treated with the same level of respect and given the same opportunity to train. Um, so we're down here at 8 o'clock on a, on a Saturday morning in October and um, every single one of you know, any kind of rower is out training at the same time. Uh, that's really pleasing to see from my perspective as club support manager that this club is offering opportunities to everybody and everybody's given the same, the same chance to row which is just really, really great to see that, that culture all embraced within the club.